Pretty soon you're going to hear that familiar sound, the cicadas. Yeah, they're coming. A lot of them. Dawn Flynn is the adjunct curator of entomology at the Shield Museum, but she's also known as the bug lady, and we love that, and we love that you're here. How are Thank you, Dawn? Thank you. I'm doing great. Good to be here. I'm glad you're here. I was just asking you how long you've been the bug lady for, and you said? 1972. So she's really the pro here, and she's going to help us figure all of this out because sure. I think a lot of people first are like, I just know they're the things that buzz and fly around, but really, what is a cicada? Cicada is a sap-sucking insect that, uh, similar to what aphids are, and that they have a beak that they put in and suck the sap off of new growth in trees. They just want the sap. They just want the sap. So they're just after the new growth in trees, just like we're after the sunshine and the smell of the flowers, right? That's right. <laughs> so then when we hear about a cicada, we always hear, well, they're coming out of the ground. And then the question is, well, I mean, are there all different kinds of cicadas? And are they always each year coming out of the ground? How does that work? Okay, there's a, there are two groups of cicadas. If you look at the box, you'll see that there's a group there that's called dog day cicadas, and there's a group that's called periodical cicadas. Okay, so we're looking at those. Okay, the dog day cicada is, comes out every year, but they're on a seven year cycle. So they're uh, somewhere in the area, there's always some in the ground, and they just emerge every seven years. Oh. Okay, and that the periodicals do the same thing, but there are, there are two cy life cycles. There's a 13 year and a 17 year and they come out, so they're in the ground all that time, and then they come out during that time period and then attach themselves, uh, the, the nymphs attach themselves to trees and inside of buildings, and then they split their back, and they, they oh. come out of their exoskeleton. You'll see an exoskeleton <laughs> in the in What the, a uh, life, box. man, yeah, right? Yep, yep. Well, and when you describe, describe <laughs> it that way, it makes so much more sense. They're all not coming out at the same time every seven years, but they have a different life cycle depending on when they've gone in the ground, right, correct? Right, right, right. So this year we have a bunch of them coming. Why yes. is that? Yes, this is a periodical. This is, uh, this is in North Carolina, we'll have uh, brood 13, which will be coming out here. Uh, excuse me, brood, excuse me, brood um, 19 will be coming out here in North Carolina, and that will be happening in the spring. Okay. Yeah. So soon. Soon. We right. can expect these guys soon. Right. Um, you know, I think a lot of people want to know, too, um, you know, what, if they're, if they're sucking the sap and they're noisy, I mean, is there anything people really need to be worried about or is it just kind of let them do their thing and move on with their life? Let them do their thing because there isn't anything you can do to stop it. There okay. isn't really. And there are just so many of them. And right. they only live about 30 days. Okay. And so the males are up there singing in the trees. That's <laughs> all that singing that you hear. Yep. And they're singing to find a, a female and then they mate. And then after they mate, the males die. Then the females lay eggs and then they die. And then those eggs hatch in, in about two to three weeks, and the little larvae crawl off the edge of the branch, drop to the ground, and burrow on the ground and start to cycle all Started over again. Started all over. But we need them to suck that sap, right? We really don't need them to suck oh, the sap. Oh, well, but, but there they, you go. <laughs> but they, they are food. They are food for a number of other insects and birds. That makes more yeah. sense. And the I was thinking maybe they helped in some sort of the, the cycle, right? No, 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 they're food. All right, well, they're tasty. Mm -hmm. they're, and right. so a lot of those animals are waiting for them to come out. Um, Don, I want to ask you real fast because I know, um, I, well, maybe there's some bugs at this too, but you guys are having a spring fling at the Shield Museum this weekend, That is right? correct, that's correct from nine to four. Mm -hmm. All right, and that's exciting. I want to put the information on the screen. That's because folks can go to meet and greet with the farm animals. Uh, the cows will be out, uh, the pigs, the goats, the sheep. So you can go to the Shield Museum's website, their Instagram and Facebook to learn more. Um, and then there's the great dino giveaway too, right? Yep, yep. I'm looking at that. That's all kids ages 12 and under, um, and they can select an egg while supplies last. So that's pretty fun. Um, you said before we came back, you love bugs. Ooh, I love bugs. That's, <laughs> that is a good statement. Why, and a true do, statement. why do you love bugs so much? I have to know. Oh, I'm also a pastor, and because I'm a pastor, I love bugs because they're part of God's creation, and mm -hmm. they're just so diverse and so many different kinds. They're just, they're just fascinating. Have you ever wondered why he made the mosquito, though? <laughs> For food. For food. It all comes back yeah. to food. Yeah. I, I've literally been like, Lord, why this one, right? He for just sucks food. all our blood. For food for bats and birds. Got to feed the bats and the birds. Don, thank right. you so much for being with us today. <laughs> You're welcome. I thank you. It. All right, Kristen, going to send it over to you. Okay, I learned so much <laughs> in the past four minutes, but what's going to stick in my brain is that cicadas have a beak. Yes. yes. They have a beak. And just to get the sap. Oh and they God. don't they don't bite and they, they do don't not bite. bite just let them be let yep. them be let them just use that beak to get that sap yep, yep. thank you ladies